um, highlight moment uh, in your authorship journey? Oh, my highlight moment! Is it? <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> That's yeah. my highlight moment yeah. when you finally see the draft of the book. Yeah, and you're saying this book is here. Yeah, I mean there was the 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 cover page, yeah. the words. Uh, the editing yeah. and all that. So when you see the first draft, it's not yeah. even the last, yeah. the, the final copy. The first it one. was the first draft. Yeah. I just felt like, you know, you are walking, you are at the beach <laughs> and, you are, and the sun is so hot and yes. you're given a cool drink. That's how I felt. Yeah. I felt what an achievement. Yeah. Because this is something that we have dreamt for so long. Mm. A lot of my scripts were never really published yeah a lot of my poems are not published but mm. this was the first book that was published yeah. and for me it's such a great great achievement mm. and i owe it all to god awesome. and to my husband and to my family yes. yes awesome awesome i can feel the excitement <laughs> i can imagine just that picture you've just painted you know at the beach and it's hot and then you're given a cold drink it's just so refreshing yes and, and to celebrate with you. Thank you. Um, so we, you are respected and well known in the marriage um, circle. I don't know whether there's a marriage industry, but coaching industry yes. or circles. What what gave you the burden for marriages? You could have coached in other things, uh, life skills or, yes. or parenting or something else. Why why marriage? Thank you. Um, I we trained or I trained as a marriage life coach. Mm -hmm. But why I went into no as a life coach. Yeah. So why I went into the area of marriage was mm -hmm. because it was a burden that had been there. Mm -hmm. When we were pastoring, most of the cases that we would receive mm -hmm. or most of the people who would come to us, most of the people that we were drawn to yeah. were the married couples. Mm -hmm. And over the years, we talked and talked and cancelled and cancelled and, mm. uh, you know, all these things. And I felt a burden that it's not just about the, you know, talking to people, but let's take it a notch higher. Mm. You will be surprised that most of our clients, 80%, are not even believers. Mm. They are not born again. So we came from the church where we were doing now full-time mm -hmm. uh, counselling and, and pastoring, and now amongst believers. But when we stepped out, one of the things that was really our desire was to reach the outside world. Mm -hmm. Because there are many people who cannot come into the church. Mm -hmm. They fear. Once your car is parked there, or once you get uh, to the reception area, mm -hmm. and it's a church, and you're a couple, people know, mm hmm there are issues. There are issues here. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. and they are already uh, flanging their, their white handkerchiefs. Yeah. Oh, pole, 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 pole. Yeah. But we thought, how about doing it away from the church where we have a safe environment mm. and people can come? Yeah. And that's what that's the burden that was there that we mm. need to we need to we need to um, go beyond the church mm. and see how do we reach the outside world. So it's like evangelism, evangelism to the, marriage to the media, you mm. know, media houses. We've been called to speak in various media houses, but mm. really on marriage and relationships. Yeah. Now, you know, through the book yeah. and other other areas. Mm. So that was a burden. And of course, the burden that I also have is for women, yeah. you know, so just reaching out to the women, not just in the church, yeah. but out of the four walls of the mm. church, which I must say, God is gracious mm. and it has been successful. Wow. We celebrate with you. Thank you. Um, and we pray that your ministry continues to thrive. I totally believe that if we can sort so many issues at the marriage level and parenting level, that is the home, yes. then all of us can go out there and do what we are required to do. Because, yes. um, I mean, you've been married for so many years, so I'm also counting my years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if it's not working at home, it's like life loses meaning in everything Absolutely. else. So we really celebrate you. Sorry, and just one more thing. Yes. We also found what you've said is very important. That mm. If it's not working at home, then if you go to the office, mm. same thing. It won't work. It won't work. Yeah. And we, we, would, we would see many corporations where uh, people would have problems. I'm, I know there is the HR and all that mm. that takes place you know, yeah. at the workspace. Yeah. But still, 
we found how do we reach these people before they go to the office? Mm. How do we reach these people before the HR can notice mm. your, pro uh, your productivity is going down yeah. and so you need something, you need a counselor or mm. you need a mentor, or you need a coach. Mm. How do we reach? So we opened our space so that people would come in mm. and not just in the corporate, but also in the churches. Mm. The pastors, where do they go to? Mm. We've been pastors before. not to the believers. Of course, you can't go to your church and say, oh well, yeah, you know, this is happening. My husband pinched me here. And I decided to no. pinch him on the other side. No, you, you it can't won't do work. That. It won't work. It won't work. And yeah. they're all like, okay, so I can also pinch you. See, the pastor yeah. is leading, so I yeah. can also pinch you. Yeah. So we wanted to create a safe environment where yeah. pastors can also come, because yeah. we've been pastors before yeah. and we can reach out to them and say this is a safe environment yeah. come yeah. this is not about kumwaga unga you know yeah. this is not about uh, your job yeah so that if you are saying it to your boss yeah. who is now the senior pastor yeah. he's saying my friend yeah what does it say in timothy <laughs> put your house in order <laughs> yes. so we are giving you leave mm. and you can sort yourself out and if you yeah. don't sort yourself out yeah, uh, you look out. for another job yeah then many people now hold back yeah. and shy off. Mm. And also the men. You tell men, how, what, what, what about coaching? Yeah. You know, how uh, we've seen more men respond to coaching mm. that, as opposed to just going back to the church yeah. because they feel they are being told this is what you need to do. I'm not against the church. I'm, mm. I'm still in the church. Yeah. We are still pastoring. Yeah. But when it comes to coaching, then the man feels, oh, this is another way of doing it. Yeah. And so I'm not being told you should do this and this. Yeah. But what is it that is within that mm. we can bring out mm. that you can be a blessing to your wife mm. and to your family? Mm.